big hello to everyone watching this. I'm Allie B. Mac, aka Allie B. Neezer Scrooge. Bah, humbug. Moving on, you are watching my first look at the game Finding Paradise, which is the follow up to the game To the Moon. I loved the original game. It's been a while since I played it, but I loved the aesthetic, I loved the unique story. And it did make me cry, so there's that. But I am so happy that they've made another game in that same universe, and I cannot wait to play it. So with that in mind, let's get right into the game! And we're driving. We should have some sort of, like, road mix on. Basically just... Highway to hell over and over on repeat until you go crazy and die. Or the Life is a Highway song. Just that over and over until someone goes crazy. No! <laughs> I do appreciate the drama. Hey! They, uh, Mrs. the squirrel, they survived. Fun fact about me, I actually got into a car accident uh, by swerving to avoid a cat. The accident was pretty bad, but I'm alive and the cat is alive, so I feel like we're both winners. What the shit, Eva? Guys, new series, new terrible accents. You know what time it is, it's terrible accent time. Okay, so I'm going to stick with the American accent for Dr. Neil Watts, and I think I'm gonna make Eva British. We'll see though, if you guys have any suggestions for accents, including please stop using accents, they're terrible, feel free to let me know in the comments. I don't know how many of you played To The Moon, but in the last game, right before the end of it, Neil is walking back to the car, and there's like a red flash on the screen because he is in pain, that's the kind of thing that we saw when another character was in pain earlier, and he pops some pills and then just like, continues on to the car and that's the end so that was kind of like a little cliffhanger so i'm sure that that's going to come back up in this game all right anyways so back to the terrible accents or terrible accent singular this time that's how you keep everyone alive including the squirrel <sighs> i mean she's right hope you learned something look sometimes it's either us or them i mean that's a bit dramatic considering you both survived by keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. I mean, you still are alive now. Logic. Enlightening. We should, uh, we should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. I mean, that does seem like a very weird and specific snack, but who am I to judge? Pretty sure I've got like, yeah, I've got like little chocolate chips, like literally within arm's length away from me. So yeah, I really can't judge. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. And then I have to eat them for ages. How long do apples last? Not that, not long enough for them to become like a problem. I mean, I guess you could turn them into, anyways. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean... Pineapples? There better have been one song that played through all of your heads, because currently it's just in mine. I have an apple. Oh, apple bear. Whew. Wow. What a great, what a great pun. This is great. She does not seem to think so. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> well, that was a little bit rude. Why, why did that happen? Ooh, a moped or a motorbike. <gasps> Can I steal it? I see a hand. Does that mean I can take it for mine? And then I don't have to walk places? Whoa, check out this rad bike! He's California surfer. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do California surfer, dude. That's going to be annoying. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we, because we are here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt devil. All right, there. Drama. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people. Very different things. 
Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. And we're walking. Yeah, I hope that we get to use that bike so we don't have to walk places, because it's slow. Let's roll, like a cucumber. Cool like a cucumber, because we're so cool. What? You know, cucumber rolls, sushi. I was way off base. You know, cucumber rolls, sushi. Yeah, uh, no, that's quite a stretch. I think cool as a cucumber, I mean, I, I don't think even cucumber rolls are a thing that I eat. Like, they don't call them cucumber rolls. Maybe she is British. I don't know if that's a British term. Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. What sprinkler? Oh, he means the girl. He's making a joke. And I didn't get it. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Hey now, what happened to what happened to you? I'm sorry, this child's name is Potato? Po like, I'm, you know, whatever, blah, 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 emotional things. She's going, this child's name is Potato. I know it's a video game, and I know people have weird names in video games, but can we just, for a second, who, who, who named you Potato? I hope this is a nickname, because Jesus Christ. Like, I mean, I don't even know. Unless your parents are, like, Mr. or Mrs. Potato Head, and your name is actually Small Fry, your name should have nothing to do with potatoes. I'm just saying. She kicked my teddy into the water. Oops, I clicked before. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. All right, they're brat. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? Okay, so we've got the stereotype of cranky teenager down. But my son, my bum buns are pretty. Yeah, well, sh Yeah, well, she also named you, and that is a sick burn. That is a sick, sick burn, because did I just spend several minutes t talking about a child's name? Yeah, I did. So, wow. Okay, I don't hate Amber, because that was a good burn. But she is making a little girl cry, so I was like, ugh, maybe don't. Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. All right. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Alrighty then. Hey. What? Huh, is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. Oh, so she's just a brat. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and they like don't care. So it's a brat stall. Unlike wimpy teddy bears, they. <gasps> oh my god, that was great! Um, Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and, and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! You're my hero. No probs, kid. In your face. That's hilariously terrible. This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Beaver. Eva. This is great. I forgot how much I love these characters. Kinda like a tuna. Okay, it's so weird. No, we should go into the house. We'll do exploring later. Hopefully I'm not missing out on anything. There's only one Steam achievement for this game and it's having completed the game, so I'm gonna assume nothing. Hello. Hey there, this is Dr. Rosalina and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. I don't know what voice to do this for this person yet. Yep, hope we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. Alright then. What was that? What was what? Did you not feel that blast of ice through the monitor? 
Well, if she's the patient's spouse, she's got to die in spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. All right, maybe it's just me. Probably not. It's probably significant in some way. Or maybe she's the android. Hi, who are you? Hello, may I help you with something? We can wait till you set that down, my box carrying comrade. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. You really get me. Oh my god. Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you know? This is the sec- This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Conan Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves, probably. Ugh, it's- Anyway, happy ending, that's cool. Every time I see you folks, I know another room's about to go empty. At this rate, soon I won't even have a job here anymore. Well, then you fill the room. That's how it works. Spouses, am I right? Hmm? Always make the job so cumbersome. What are you talking about? Depends on the person. Dr. Rosaline, is it? And Dr. Watts. <clears throat> yes, we're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. Alrighty. Can we just keep going instead? Oh, there's nothing down the hallway. What about this way? Nope. Alright. We're going with you. Only because that seems to be our only option. Oh, this is sketchy. What's going on? Is she going to lock us in there? Are we going to get murdered? Is this a different kind of game than I was expecting? Act one. Tell me, what do you want to change? I mean, I could change anything. Oh, thank God. I could stop my introspection. <gasps> Examining myself in my past. Disgusting. Huh, this ri this is a quaint place you got here. Uh, side note, that's throwing some shade, Dr. Rosaline. That's a really shitty thing to say to someone. This is, this is a quaint little cute little house you got going on for yourself. Good for you. Like, what the hell? Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Oh, sorry, she's not British. Ooh. Right down to bit. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. Fair enough, my dude. Who's that gentleman? You must be here for my father. You must be here for my father. I mean, yeah. You're the patient's son. Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you sit up first? The box looks heavy. See, he gets it. Are you two ready? Uh, let's set the machine down. Yeah, just give us a moment. Kind of looks like a face. Is the power in here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. They're just trying to be polite, Dr. Watts. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Was he? Hmm. Huh, I guess you got more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's equally as comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. Your job? So, you two are for real? So, you two are for real? What do you mean? 
you can really fulfill his wish? We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed because... It would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. Oh, he wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy. Look, that's... that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding! I'm kidding! But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the books? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we've got time while, uh, while the machine's booting up anyway. Who goes to get the file? Let's get Rosaline down there. Well, someone's got to go get it. And that someone could be you! But you're the one who forgot it. Exactly! Do you want me to go back there and forget it again? Oh my god. And yeah, that's where we're landing. I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Cool. That'll save some time. Already down to business, huh? Hey, I recognize you. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, she's not British. What am I doing? I need another voice for her, don't I? <clears throat> yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lynn assigned to this patient instead? The no voices is. Yeah, but they had a full roster at the time, so we took over. S save their arses. Maybe he's British. Oh, well. Ironically, turned out they got nothing to do today. Hmm. I guess you know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just going to check on the patient. Here, I got something for you. Received remote patient monitor. Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Excellent. Now him having a heart attack would probably give me one too. Great. Thanks so much. Oh, this must be... All right, right up there. That's his heart monitor. Cool. Excuse me while I just... Oh, hey, an item I can take. Dang it. Why is the toilet paper never on the dispenser? You live in a college dorm, it's not, but come on. Did... Really? One day, they'll thank me for the unsung hero that I am. Does it matter who I send for which mission? If someone can let me know without any spoilers who I should send for upcoming missions, it would be appreciated. And if it doesn't matter, then that is excellent. I'll press the Q mess to switch between characters. Well, it's centered automatic configuration mode. It, it does that now? Yep. My handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free to play hooky. But instead, I gotta go ba g gather background information on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. She's slowly turning s southern. That's how you, uh, that's how you get lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. And we're going to end our video there. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this episode and what you think about the game so far. I am loving it. Although it's kind of giving me an existential crisis. It's just like, like making me think about my life and my choices and uh, the death that's going to hit us all one day. Uh, I mean, it's also funny, so it's going to get a pass. But I'm just saying... I'm not a huge fan of the existential crisis. And this is your reminder to comment below with your ideas for AKA intros and I might use yours in a future video. Thank you to the Two Left Thumbs channel who submitted the idea I used for this one. God bless us, everyone. And if you don't want the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future to come and torment you, then make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to have the next video out very, very soon. So I will see you then.